All businesses generate leads. However, leads don't bring in revenue. Closed one deals do. And what happens from the time a lead is identified to a deal being closed or lost is your opportunity as a sales rep. Opportunities are like gold for your business. If handled correctly, they create lifelong happy customers and generate recurring revenue for your business. But it's easier said than done. With the right opportunity management tool, sales reps can monitor the sales process, connect with the right people, and track all necessary information in one place. Let's see how. Here you can see the contact record for Danny Hamilton. To create an opportunity, we'll click the Actions drop-down and select Add New Opportunity for Contact. Now we'll want to give the opportunity a name. Many companies will combine the contact or organization name with what they're selling or even a potential close date. Here at Insightly, we label our new business opportunities with the org name dash contact name. For renewals, we'll do org name dash year dash renewal. However you decide to label your opportunity records, ensure it's consistent across your go-to-market team. We'll also want to select a category from the drop-down menu. Categories are a way to label opportunities, projects, tasks, and files in Insightly. As a software company, we might use categories like new business, upsell, and renewal. But keep in mind, these categories are fully customizable in system settings by your Insightly admins. For example, if you worked at a property management company, you could separate your opportunities into commercial, government, and residential categories. Since Danny is a new customer, we'll select the new business category for her opportunity. Next, we'll add a probability of winning. This allows Insightly to help you forecast how much your business is expected to make in a given month, quarter, or year. If you're a small business, chances are you're not reporting on hundreds of opportunities at once, so this field may not be needed. If we have the information, we'll also want to add the forecasted close date and opportunity value, so we're able to see what the opportunity is worth at a glance and to help with reporting. Now let's set up a pipeline for our opportunity. Pipelines can be set up and customized by an unsightly admin to guide salespeople through an established process. Usually pipelines will align with your categories, so whatever category this opportunity falls into, it should have a corresponding pipeline to go along with it. Each pipeline is made up of stages, which are the specific steps your sales team follow to complete the sale. One major benefit of pipelines in Insightly is that any stage can have an activity set associated with it. Activity sets can create a collection of predefined tasks and events in one step, so when you reach a stage that includes an activity set, the set is triggered and will automatically create tasks or events linked to the current project or opportunity. For our example, let's say our SDR just passed along this opportunity to an AE. An activity set automatically creates a demo call event for five days later and a task for the assigned rep to email, share next steps, and confirm the appointment. Everything gets done, and no one has to manually enter those tasks and events each time. Now, what if you need to track information that doesn't fit into any of Insightly's predefined fields? Don't sweat it, because Insightly admins can create custom fields that are tailored to fit your business needs. There are 16 different types of fields to capture information in the form of numbers, dates, and text. Here you can see a few of the many custom fields our teams at Insightly have set up. All right, let's go ahead and save Danny's opportunity. On the Detail tab, we can see all of the information we just added. On the Related tab, we can see a link to Danny's contact that we originally generated this opportunity from. Other links, including related organization records, notes, and files, will also live here. And finally, when we navigate to the Activity tab, we'll be able to view the tasks and events that our activity sets trigger for each pipeline stage. We can add new activities and complete previous ones on this screen. Let's say we've completed all of the activities associated with our pipeline stages for Danny's opportunity. The demo went great, she's agreed to our pricing and signed the contract. It's time to mark this as a closed one deal. When we change the pipeline stage to closed, we'll proudly select one as the new state and, if applicable, choose a reason from the dropdown. 
you can see here that the probability of winning has changed to 100% because of our pipeline stage settings. Insightly's admins can tie specific probabilities to stages in the pipeline, so as you move through each stage, that probability will automatically update for you. Depending on your business, your process may end here, but if you have services to provide, products to deliver, or onboarding to complete, you'll want to keep watching. This is where we use projects in Insightly. We can convert this closed one deal into a project from the Actions menu. This allows us to link all of Danny's information to a new project record so we can easily collaborate with our post-sales team and begin working on her deliverables. Here you'll see that same familiar interface in our project management pipeline, but with different stages that match project delivery. This allows your whole team to understand where projects and deals are without having to log into different systems or master multiple interfaces. All right, great job team. We're one deal closer to hitting our quota and we can rest assured that Danny will be taken care of by our post sales team. If you wanna dive deeper into Insightly's project management features or explore recent updates to the platform, visit the Insightly Help Center or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.